Hi, my name is Thomas Chevian. I'm a liver specialist, and I'm wanting to share something about cirrhosis. It is something that I deal with every day, and yet patients ask me, "What is cirrhosis?" Almost on an hourly basis. Cirrhosis is simply a word that describes a liver that has lost all its function because the liver cells have been replaced by fibrous tissue. Much like if you cut your hands, it is replaced by a scar, and this is a similar process that causes this in the liver. Recurrent or repeated. inflammation due to an injury that injury can be something like a toxic substance like uh, alcohol or it could be a virus like hepatitis b but something that causes an inflammation in the first place and then repeated inflammation causes what we call uh, fibrosis which is because the inflammation causes cell death and the cell death causes fibrosis and when this happens on a large scale or a large or a long period of time this ends up in an irreversible condition called cirrhosis in other words once you reach cirrhosis the liver is not able to regenerate or come back to normal that is when we would advise people to have a transplant not just when they reach cirrhosis but when they reach what we call as decompensated cirrhosis so early stages of cirrhosis might not cause so many symptoms but later uh, there is water accumulating in the abdomen you can have liver coma you can have jaundice you can have cancers in the liver these are late manifestations of cirrhosis usually and when these have started to appear then the time has come for the liver to be replaced with a healthy new liver from a donor so this is not a small process this is a a big operation there is a significant risk associated with that that or that operation but i still advise it to people who got decompensated cirrhosis because those people without a transplant often have a risk of death of more than 60% 70% 80% within the next 1 year without a transplant whereas the transplant gives a much much better quality of life and indeed a survival compared to medical management of decompensated cirrhosis so uh, i don't want anybody to think that cirrhosis is the end of the road i spent the last 10 years telling people that life after a transplant is fabulous and uh, normal i have got hospital administrators running the hospitals i have got fruit sellers running their fruit shops i have got auto rickshaw drivers who have had a transplant and gone back to being a rickshaw driver and it doesn't need to change so cirrhosis is something that we all just need to know the name but more importantly understand that cirrhosis is life threatening but thanks to transplantation it doesn't mean that it has to be the end of the road